In the film Nightcrawler, Lou Bloom is depicted as a character driven by the desire to earn money. And the opening scene is seen trespassing onto a private property to cut a fence. When confronted by a police officer, he ends up assaulting the officer, taking his watch, and then heading to a pawn shop to make a quick sale. At the shop, Lou attempts to negotiate for a job but is unsuccessful. He then offers to work for free, essentially proposing an unpaid internship, but is ultimately turned away. It seems like this is just another ordinary night for Lou, a jobless thief doing his best to get by in today's world. But because Nightcrawler is a movie, we can expect something out of the ordinary to come along and stir things up. On that same evening, a somber Lou comes across a car accident and strikes up a conversation with a cameraman on the scene and discovers that he can earn money by selling video footage to local news stations. This is Lou's breakthrough moment. This moment illustrates his ascent in the fiercely competitive world of freelance crime journalism in Los Angeles. Nightcrawler presents a harsh critique of capitalism, illustrating how the struggle of a faltering economy impact individuals. Characters like Lou, faced with the need for money and limited job opportunities, resort to desperate actions in their quest for financial stability. In Lou's case, is not afraid to tamper with crime scenes to capture the most compelling footage, which he then sells to Nina, a seasoned news director, who is also willing to compromise her integrity to survive in the industry. Despite her decades of experience, Nina has never found stability, constantly moving between stations throughout her career. This is why she takes Lou under her wing. She is savvy enough to understand what type of footage drives rating and jaded enough not to question how it's obtained. Nina's intuition turned out to be spot on and Lou discovered that he's got a real talent for this kind of work. He brings on Rick, a young man without a home, to assist him in his endeavors. Together the two face the challenges and triumphs of launching a small enterprise. As the movie unfolds, we start to realize that Lou is a sociopath with no moral compass. While Rick is a well-intentioned person who just can't seem to catch a break. Both are in need of money. And when economy fails to provide the promised employment, the line between right and wrong becomes less clear. It's like everyone is just one rent payment away from being tempted to do something morally questionable. The film's critique of capitalism is extensive, yet it sharply focuses on the realm of local television news. The film's director, Dan Gilroy, delivers a thought-provoking insight on the production and consumption of news in 21st century. While we have encountered similar films in the past, such as Network, Nightcrawler serves as a compelling reminder that the situation has only deteriorated further. The main goal of local TV news has always been to keep the community informed. To be successful, local news channels need to cover unique stories that can't be found on national news outlets. This often means reporting on local crimes, and as seen in Nightcrawler, violent crimes in upscale neighborhood attracts the most viewers. In Nightcrawler, we get a deeper look into how local news operates when crime rates have dropped. With less violence, there's a frantic race to be the first on the scene when a crime does occur. In Lou's case, there's also fabrication to make the scene more dramatic. This sets Nightcrawler apart from previous films on the same themes and make it an urgent expose of today's local news landscape. I'm curious about how people would react to Nightcrawler if it came out today. With journalists being demonized and the truth being dismissed as fake news, I wonder if audience would appreciate Gilroy's satire. The film really delves into the complexities of the fake news debate by portraying the impact of a for-profit motive on journalistic integrity. Gilroy questions the trustworthiness of local television news, but he doesn't absolve the audience of responsibility. Ultimately, Lou and Nina are simply delivering what the viewers demand. The movie addresses our fascination with true crime tales. While these stories may not be newsworthy, they elicit strong emotions from viewers ultimately benefiting the news outlets that profit from them. There is something about psychopathological behavior that seem to captivate people, whether it's through actively engaging in destructive acts or simply observing them from afar. Nightcrawler skillfully navigates these discussions without providing simple answers. It's possible that we are so intrigued because we understand it. We naturally grasp why numerous individuals lose their sanity, even as we reassure ourselves that we would never spiral into such disorder. I'm not in a position to resolve centuries of intricate debate, but it's important to consider this. Our current neoliberal system encourages a dog-eat-dog social ethos, with so many individuals fighting to make ends meet. We shouldn't be surprised when all hell breaks loose.